Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss how you as an individual can make your career in IoT. I'm going to discuss what are the skill set which is required so that moving forward 2022 and beyond, you can actually get properly hired. What is the exact right roadmap you should follow? What are the companies which are hiring the IoT, uh, the people who have IoT expertise? And finally, how much you can make if you're aiming your career in IoT. Okay, first thing first, let's try to understand actually what is IoT. It is also known as Internet of Things. What I call this is smart devices. Now, what do I mean by smart devices? Well, smart devices does not require a human intervention. Let's say if I have to turn off the light of this particular studio room, I have to physically move there. I have to call someone and they will be doing that. Now, this requires some uh, energy if I may, I have to move around. But with the help of IoT, I can give the instruction so machine can take decision based on the instruction given to that machine. A simple example, let's say if I'm coming to my house and I want to make sure that it is cold and it is not because it is summer right now. So I want to make sure the AC is turned on. So let's say if I'm 10 minutes away from my home, I can give the instruction that please make sure the AC is turned on. I'm not doing anything. I'm not asking my uh, like house servant. I'm not asking anyone. I'm just giving the instruction. The instructions are transferred over internet. It reaches to that particular machine. The machine based on the instructions take the decision and it makes my room cold so that I don't have to do anything else. So in short, this is what IoT stands for. IoT is simply smaller devices. We are giving intelligence. I'm not talking about machine learning, artificial intelligence. I'm talking about simple intelligence, the ability to take a decision. These decisions are usually individual decisions, or I should say very narrow kind of a decision, like turn off and turn off the light, make a cup of coffee, make a cup of tea, something like that. So this in short, what IoT stands for, and this is how IoT devices actually work. Now let's try to understand if we are making our career in IoT, what are the reasons that this is actually a booming industry and what are the few benefits if I may, or I should say, what are the importance of IoT we are getting? So if I give you a lot of answers, obviously it will be a bit difficult for you to understand, but try to understand. We are swimming inside an ocean, which is maybe 300 kilometers in deep. Now, it is technically very difficult for us to send a human being. So what we can do, we can simply send a device which is capable of taking a decision and it can respond to our queries or questions from that particular location. So what we can do with the help of IoT, we can make the applications or I should say the devices intelligent enough so that they can take decision based on that. You must have seen Amazon. Amazon has a warehouse where devices, if I may, or I should say cart, they are capable of taking their own decision. Now, it is a bit complex. It is not just IoT, but that is one of the prime example of what IoT stands for. It is basically enabling a machine to take a decision. So what Amazon has done, if I talk about India, in India, you can see Flipkart, Flipkart has done. So what they have done, they have simply integrated intelligence in those smaller devices so they can move uh, object from place A to place B without requiring a human interference. Okay, now let's try to understand what are the benefits we are getting with IoT. So obviously monitor their business processes. So like, let's say whatever processes are happening. Let's say if I talk about package delivery. So from here, it reaches there. From here, it reaches there. From here, it reaches there. So obviously I don't need a human being to take a decision based on that. I don't need a human being to answer me that. It is basically a device which is going to respond to me where actually the object is right now obviously improve customer experience. So if a customer is not dependent on another, another human being that is going to simply improve the customer experience. If I talk about productivity, it actually helps us increase the productivity because I'll give a very simple example, all the kiosk machine, if I may, they're sort of taking decision based on the instructions given to them. So I don't need someone to actually monitor that thing. I don't need someone to take a decision based on what is happening. So this actually helps us improve the productivity and finally, the most important part, it helps me provide more services. So the example which I've taken of Amazon and Flipkart, what is happening since their warehouses are growing, so it is not possible for them to hire more individual heads. So what they did, they said, okay, now let's try to automate these things. Let's use the power of Internet of Things and make this job easier for us. And I would say like this is pr practically one of the major benefit 
what we get with IoT. Now, as there is a saying, every coin has a two face, so does IoT device, if I talk about, and not in fact IoT, I would say the concept of IoT, it has few disadvantages as well, or I would say something which is not it's not making customers happy. Well, first of all, more information is shared. Now, obviously, if your information is being shared on the internet, a small, small detail, like let's say if you're trying to turn on the AC, if you are within 10, 10 minutes of your house, so that information is being shared and you are technically sharing the information that I'm just 10 minutes away from my home. So that is something which is quite shocking for a lot of people. Secondly, cross compatibility between devices. So, now, this is something which is quite uh, unique, if I may, let's say, a company A has des designed a device, company B has designed a device. Now the cross compatibility is missing. So obviously what happens, you're a bit stuck in the single vendor. So this could be an issue for a lot of people. They don't want to stuck with a single vendor. Or if your company is providing array of devices, in that case, that is good. Otherwise, it is very difficult for me to actually find the compatible uh, devices which work together. Then if I talk about the data management, so the data has to be managed at a large scale because data is moving at a very huge scale, if I may. Let's say you have 10 million customers. So the company has to manage these data. They have to make sure the data is also secure. So security bugs can be dangerous. So you have to understand when we are talking about a technology, it has some disadvantages and this is where your as a individual can grow your career because if you can eradicate these kind of issues if i may or the disadvantages obviously your career is going to take a j curve now let's talk about your career in iot we have already discussed what is iot advantages disadvantages how that work let's try to understand iot perspective in the indian context so i've taken this actually image from the ambition box and all, obviously this link will be available in the description of this video so you can check it from there also what i'm trying to focus here is how much an iot engineer is going to make if they are aiming a career in this particular field so you can see this is sort of a scenario in india if i may so on an average the average salary is around 5 lpa that ranges from companies to company. But if I talk about in terms of career opportunity, so you can see this is a great career opportunity because IoT is something which is widely used across the globe, not just in India. So your career is not limited to a certain country. Your career is sort of available every single where. So you can see if I talk about in terms of starting your career, so this can be a very good option for you to start your career in IoT and actually expand your set of skill set. Okay, so salary part was quite amazing. Now let's try to understand what actual roadmap I have to follow. Because obviously if I don't have the right direction, I'm going to actually move in the various directions and I'm going to reach nowhere. So let's try to understand what actually is the right roadmap you should be following. So first of all, you should learn about the sensors. IoT is hardware intensive technology, if I may. It is not something that you can actually build a software and you can release it to the world. It is supposed to be available in the individual hardware devices. So you have to learn about sensors. Now, this is something which is quite important because if you don't know how sensors work, it will be very difficult for you to actually make a good career in that. After that, you should be learning a programming language or languages. Now, why this is important? The decision with, like if a set of instructions are coming to your end, you have to make sure that you are able, your device is capable of taking the decision based on the instruction given and how that is going to happen. That is going to happen through programming languages. After that, you should learn the hardware programming also. The normal programming or i should say this is going to be the user uh, user interface kind of a programming the hardware programming is going to actually interact with the hardware of the device let's say if it has to move to left it has to move to right so you have to understand how hardware programming works then the networking part next step is networking because obviously iot is not something that you're going to design for yourself iot is something which is going to be designed for hundreds and hundreds of places so you have to make sure that you are communicating with a secured network so your data or the possibility of data breach is technically zero the next point is obviously learning the ui and the ux now the question is why do i need to learn ui and ux if i'm doing iot because iot is all about hardware well technically it is not the user, if they are not able to use the device, how they're going to actually become your customer. So you have to understand the user interface as well as the user experience is quite important. And if you skip this step, it is going to make a lot difficult for you to make a good career in this particular field. After that, 
you should be learning cloud computing now in this channel if you have seen cloud computing is something which i say a lot of times now obviously you can say avinash yes you constantly say cloud computing now what is the reason behind that the reason is quite simple if a iot startup comes up it is not technically possible for them to create a on premises infrastructure from day one without making a huge capital investment so if i talk about in terms of company the vendors the people they prefer cloud because it has other services which are quite contra like which are quite matching with the requirement of iot so it helps them actually scale their devices it helps them manage their business manage their costs related to everything inside that so it is better that you learn cloud computing because this is going to give you an extra advantage and i would say in after learning the cloud computing obviously make sure that you learn about big data because the data is going to come to you from every single place you should be able to do the anomaly detection you should be able to find out what is the problem which is happening you should be able to find out if there is some leakage in the data you should be able to uh, analyze the data you should be able to engineer the data you should be able to uh, like you should be able to do the stuff a data scientist can do so make sure that you are able to learn big data also because this is going to become a biggest asset for you because iot first it's about giving instructions second it is about analyzing the data so that i can make my device much better okay so that was about the roadmap now let's try to understand skill set what actually i need to learn when i say programming okay what programming language you're talking about avinash so let's try to understand first of all you should be learning embed c c++ obviously this is hardware with this you will be able to interact with the hardware the physical thing which you can actually touch from your finger so this is something you should be actually learning secondly programming language obviously python is preferred here because majority of the library if i talk about are quite compatible with python and obviously this is one of the de facto language secondly it is open source so you as a company don't have to make any upfront investment in this particular technology after that know how obviously sensor works i have already discussed that now if i talk about in terms of big data so you should be focusing on big data as well as if i talk about big data on cloud okay then networking and security is obviously something you have to excel so networking i i should talk about the subnetting the netting part of it the infrastructure of it how the various devices are connected how to make sure that the infrastructure is quite secure in the networking part make sure that you are quite well equipped with the cloud concepts of networking then obviously cloud computing i would prefer microsoft azure for that because azure has quite compatible services related to iot i'm not saying the other cloud providers do not have but azure has a great advantage over there and finally the ui and the ux which is going to actually help you so these are the skill sets which you have to learn to make sure that you can actually excel your career in iot okay now let's talk about where you can actually aim your career and what are the good companies where you can actually become a good iot engineer and you can grow your career so obviously these are the indian mnc's if i talk about infosys is there tcs is there mindtree is there wipro hcl tech mahindra so these are the few mnc's if i talk about where you can actually make your good career in iot so that is it for this video i just want to understand if you have any confusion any doubt put them in the comment if you need a career guidance obviously in that case there is a link in the description of this video or also in the comment section click that link fill in the details and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear because this is what we stand for so thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one